G'day, Charles McKenzie, lying on my uh, couch this uh, Wednesday afternoon. And um, what time is it? It's about quarter to three. And uh, I'd definitely not be lying on my couch like this at quarter to three. Uh, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself uh, normally because uh, I've been so busy um, campaigning for victims of Australia's deadliest medical scandal, contaminated blood. But uh, as I've said recently, uh, my health's taken a, a turn uh, not in the, in the best direction. So I'm on the couch here with my vape here. And I don't have so much of this uh, medicinal cannabis left. It's actually a struggle to get because uh, the pharmacy that um, handled my prescription uh, has closed. And if you know anything about medicinal cannabis in New South Wales or in Australia, um, you'll know that it's it's really difficult for pharmacists to, to actually be a... Um, uh, to, 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 to dispense it because um, there are so many um, forms and um, various uh, things that they have to do complete on top of uh, what they'd have to do with normal prescriptions. So I don't think it's uh, economically viable uh, for many of them, uh, given all the hassle involved. And it just leads you to think, uh, uh, the government, uh, how serious are they about something like medicinal cannabis which is so beneficial for people with terminal illnesses um, or, or um, you know, people with uh, chronic conditions, uh, like uh, if they're a contaminated blood victim, uh, like myself, or you know, I've got these neurological problems, uh, which is why um, I have it at the moment, try and make my life uh, just a bit easier. It helps uh, my muscles get energy. But uh, despite that, I still, uh, you know, feel uh, absolutely terrible. Uh, I haven't been able to sleep uh, in days. I haven't actually slept a wink in three days. And before that, I probably had a handful of hours. Now, the reason I'm saying this, the reason I'm making this video, I've never ever made a video on Infected Blood Australia lying on the couch. <laughs> the reason I'm doing it is I'm sharing the reality of what it's like to be a member of our group who is a contaminated blood victim. I'm not the only one who's going through this, oh no, this is this is very common. And in fact, the no sleep factor is a very, very common in our group, very common. Uh, for some reason, surviving uh, something as awful as contaminated blood, um, you know, if you do survive it, you, you don't come out very often uh, unscathed, um, no. And uh, many people are left with liver cirrhosis, liver fibrosis as a result of hepatitis C, and they have uh, liver cancer. We have a lot of people with cancer right now in our group, Infected Blood Australia. So far, I've uh, avoided the cancer. I've uh, been a very healthy living chap in the last uh, good amount of years, that's for sure. Um, and um, I've avoided cancer. Uh, others have not. That doesn't mean to say they didn't live healthily. They did. It's just with something as bad as having HIV or Hep C, uh, you, you know, especially if you've had it for you know, 20 or 40 years, uh, you could be in big trouble. So I've avoided that, but uh, I've now got this problem uh, with getting energy to my muscles. It gets my way of breathing, walking, going to the bathroom, uh, basically doing anything, using my hands. So uh, yeah, uh, plus I have, you know, severe aplastic anemia. I haven't been able to get a bone marrow transplant. Um, I've got a heart condition and various other things. And there are people, uh, again, that send me messages saying, don't talk about your symptoms. You know, um, I, I get quite a few messages like that when I'm not being called a C-U-N-T, uh, which I, I get uh, sent those messages to um, and, and pretty mo the most abysmal messages you've ever seen. This isn't like the movies, you know. Uh, drugstore, was it... Uh, which was the movie with Matty McConaughey uh, playing an HIV character? I should remember the name. Dallas Buyers Club. That was a great movie. I liked that because his acting was so good. And uh, I'm, I'm from the 1980s. Uh, I was born in the 1970s, actually, but I was around in the 1980s. And I saw um, I saw some people get some tough, tough uh, news at that time. And I saw some tough things in the 1980s. And uh, Matthew McConaughey, he nailed it. But um, what uh, perhaps you don't see is the fact that we're still to this day, um, that was set uh, some years ago. Um, but uh, to this day, if you talk about things like uh, infected blood, the amount of messages you'll get, are, 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 are some, some strange ones, are, are, is, it is pretty eye-opening and it's pretty uh, saddening too. 
um, because people can say some despicable things to people. And uh, I've been campaigning for 30 years and uh, I was uh, fitter than this uh, in the past, but, you know, time's caught up with me. And, uh, yeah, this, uh, in my campaigning for infected blood uh, is coming to an end. Um, my life's potentially coming to an end. So uh, what can we do? Well, I think the what I can do is, uh, as I mentioned recently in one of my videos, is uh, try and leave evidence behind. And uh, that's what I'm doing. Not many people watch these videos. I've checked the analytics and they, they drop off like, you know, 30 seconds in. I understand people are very busy. And also, contaminated blood, this, this although it is Australia's deadliest medical scandal, it's suffered under a cover-up. The ABC uh, will never investigate it, despite pleas from victims, even dying victims. You know, the, the ABC's chief uh, medical uh, correspondent, Sophie Scott, you know, she she came out recently and said, well, you know, she actually emailed a member of the public who said, yeah, how come you've never investigated, you know, hepatitis C contaminated blood transfusions and things like that? And and so, you know, or the hepatitis C you know, through blood products. And Sophie Scott said it's been widely reported in the media. No, no, it hasn't. That's a barefaced lie. It is. It's a barefaced lie. For Australia's deadliest medical scandal with tens of thousands of people infected. It's never been on Four Corners or 7.30 report or 60 Minutes or any of that. You know, and so as a result, I've spent 30 years of people basically calling me an effing liar and a C-U-N-T. I've even had some victims uh, blame me for them not getting helped and blame me for their marriages failing and blame me for this and that and blame me. And I understand I've been a punching bag. I've been I've caught arrows from our opponents and I've caught arrows from from people infected sometimes because people are desperate. No help's come. And I've been the mug saying. Uh, we should fight back. We should try and get a Royal Commission of Inquiry, which you can always support by going to our bio and clicking on that link to register your support for that. We really appreciate it. But yeah, I've been the guy saying, come on, let's let's try and do something. And uh, we've faced obstacle after obstacle. I was also made a witness to the Infected Blood Inquiry. This is uh, the British uh, having a legal investigation into their contaminated blood scandal. Now, that, that has... Uh, ramifications for us here in Australia because the British actually are in part responsible for what happened here with contaminated blood. Okay. Um, so that they've got a case to answer down here in Australia. So the British have got their largest legal inquiry and I was made a witness of that inquiry. And um, I spent a good amount of time answering their questions. Um, and I, yeah, I did my level best. And it's not an easy thing to do as a contaminated blood victim. I was infected as a kid. And it's not the easiest thing, you know, as people appreciate who are victims themselves or, or their loved ones, it's not the easiest thing to do to uh, revisit these things. But I was asked questions, I answered. And um, I, I was also answered questions about uh, Australia. And uh, of course, went into that. Now, I've lost hundreds of people from our group over the years. And uh, contaminated blood is infected tens of thousands of Australians. So obviously it's a, it's a pretty depressing story, unfortunately. And it's a story also of a criminal cover-up. That's why there's never been a legal inquiry of our own here in Australia. Uh, it's because there is a, a, a genuine criminal cover-up going on. Um, I've been told by people, that very credible people, uh, in years gone by that I'd be murdered if I kept on you know, probing, asking questions about just the scale of, of the scandal. And well, now... You know, I hope, I don't, I hope I don't get murdered for goodness sake. I'm hard enough dealing with my disabilities, uh, let alone facing all this nonsense. Um, I just want to get answers. I just want to get uh, survivors uh, and their families helped. That, that that really is. I'm not looking for anything other, other than that. Not 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 pushing any other cart. Uh, no other political agenda. Nothing. Uh, it's just been one agenda from the very beginning, and that is justice. Okay, justice for what has happened to so many Australian families that have been denied a voice, okay? So here I am, my health is failing, as I've said before, and there have been people out there who say, don't talk about your symptoms, and I say to those people, get stuffed, and uh, why don't you get into the arena? Huh? Why don't you do something for once? Why don't you get in the arena and do some fighting? Huh? You want to send me messages and you want to take advantage of people like me? Huh? No. It ends here. I'm going to be talking more freely now going forward. That's right. I've, I've, I've given my all to this cause and I've been happy to have helped uh, quite a number of people. 
Um, and uh, I'm, I'll be happy to help more if I can. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm not going to cop any more abuse. If there's people out there who uh, who want to tell me uh, I'm a C-U-N-T or, uh, you know, threaten me in any way, I'm just going to send it straight to our lawyers and, uh, yeah, I won't be bothering with you anymore. Um, but what I'm going to be bothering with is, uh, see this book here? This is the Wim Hof Method, otherwise uh, known as the, the Iceman. There he is, and uh, is a guy that, would you believe it, uh, <laughs> go swimming in frozen waters and things like that and somehow survives and he's got all these breathing techniques for 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 people uh, like myself potentially and um uh maybe maybe this could be an answer maybe this might help me um stay around things are, are pretty pretty desperate so desperate measures i've um i'm not the most agile person these days but i have to tell you uh for the last seven days straight or was it no it's eight days straight I, I definitely remember for the last eight days I've been taking freezing cold showers <laughs> and I uh, I roped in a couple of mates of mine too uh, not in the same shower mind you <laughs> but I mean <laughs> I don't think they'd be very happy with that joke uh, they've got wives uh, but <laughs> but what I mean is <laughs> what I mean is um, no, I wrote them in in the sense that uh, I, I asked them to also in their respective showers and their own homes <laughs> to, to take these cold showers. OK, to join me in the pain, can we turn uh, some of these chronic conditions around by taking drastic measures like, uh, you know, meditation, breathing techniques, cold showers, um, yoga, uh, vitamins, diet, um, prayer, whatever, whatever it might be, I'm up for it all. <laughs> so that's what I'm up to. That's what my, the future has in store for me at the moment. I hope to get some sleep soon. I really do. Um, the uh, I don't like pharmaceutical painkillers. I never have. I think I've explained that to you. I've had to start taking them recently because my pain's been really intense, and maybe that's been a barrier to me being able to rest and get sleep. But they they just don't seem to. Uh, really uh, work that well for me and I think they might damage my liver which I need to protect um, so this this is the, the the how it is this really is how it is uh, in my life and I thank you if you've uh, stayed on watching I thank you very much once again if you could support our Royal Commission or tell other people to and, and click on that link and I buy I'd be very appreciative and, and perhaps if you think of me uh, tomorrow morning when I have my uh, my next cold, ice cold shower for a minute, a minute. Turn your shower onto cold for like, do it for like 10 seconds or five seconds. I'll be doing it for a minute tomorrow, but it's all, all in an effort to try and stay alive and, and, and try and at least feel better or function for as long as I can stay alive. Thank you.